hello guys welcome to the channel and today is the last day of 2024 thank you very much for your support thank you very much for your time and happy new year for you so today we have this problem here and uh, well we want to get to five seven hundred subscribers till the end of till the end of 2024 which is actually today so help me get to this number please okay now we have this problem here so if you see the basis here, this basis, if I multiply these basis, I'm going to get one, right? The product of them, because we, this is difference of two squares. So if I multiply 10 is minus root of 99 um, times 10 plus root of 99 here, I'm going to get 100 minus 99, and this, this is one. So instead of finding the, the conjugate of this, which is going to lead me to to do further simplification that I don't want to do, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the first one, which is this one here. Just a different way to solve this, but I think you're gonna like it. So then I'm gonna have then that this is 10 plus root of 99 to the power of x. I'm just going to rewrite the equation here. And then I'm gonna multiply both sides of the equation by 10 plus, okay? so. Then we got the product here, 10 plus root of 99 to the x times 10. I'm just, I'm just gonna do step by step here. So, and then we're gonna have here, this is 10 minus square root of 99 to the x times 10 plus root of 99 to the x. And then this is equal to 3, 9, 8, 10 plus root of 99 to the x. So we see that we have same base, same base here, same powers we keep the base, right? And we add the power x plus x, this is 2x. And then here, we say that the product of these two, different bases, same power, okay? We multiply the bases and we keep the power and the multiplication of these bases is one. So we got one to the x is one. So we're gonna say then one, okay? And I'm, uh, let's keep this one here, okay? And then I'm gonna bring this one to this side. So I'm gonna have three, nine, eight, 10 plus square root of 99 to the x and then plus this one here and then this is zero okay well well i will pro I, I can make a substitution here right but i'm not gonna make a substitution i'm gonna say this is 10 plus square root of 99 to the x right to the power of 2 minus 3 9 8 10 plus square root of 99 to the x plus one equals zero. And well, you can make a substitution if you want, but I think it's 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 more uh, clean not to make a substitution here and it's we're gonna get to the solution um, faster. So what I'm gonna do here, well, this is a quadratic equation, then in terms of 10 plus 99 to the power of x, let's pretend, I mean, let's not pretend, let we are considering our x in the quadratic equation as this one here. So this is our x, right? So this is our x. Since this is our x, then we got then that this is this is 10 plus root of 99 to the power of x. It is equal negative b, so we have then minus b, so we have 398, right? Plus or minus square root of b square. b square is this one here, so we, we can write it as a positive number, 398 square right minus four times a a is one c is one so minus four and then this divided by two so we got three nine eight then plus or minus this number here the will be um one five eight four hundred right so and all divided by two so this is where we're going to simplify this and get to something really really interesting right which is going to actually save us a lot of time um so three nine eight plus or minus okay if you make some simpli making some simplifications guys we're gonna get that this number here we can write this number as um we can write this number as 40 square times 99 you see so this divided by two and then we know that this one here will come out here. So this is 398 plus or minus 40 square root of 99 divided by 2. 
Look what we have here. This 99 here is the same thing we got here. So we're getting close to what we want. So, and then we have that this is 10 plus square root of 99 to the x. And then this is equal to, look, dividing this by 2, we got 199 plus or minus, this one will be 20 square root of 99. So we are getting to the solution easily. So this is then 10 plus square root of 99 to the x. And now let's look at this, guys. What is this one here? This is 100, right? I'm going to say plus or minus um, 20 square root of 99 and then plus. If this is 100, this is going to be 99. Okay, but then I can write this as 10 square plus or minus this one I can write as 2 times 10 times square root of 99 and then plus this one square root of 99 this one to the power of 2 and you can see clearly here that we have perfect square 2 perfect square so we have this is then 10 plus or minus right 10 plus or minus square root of 99 to the power of 2. And here is something I actually love to do. You know, this, not, this notation is, is, is kind of is kinda good, guys. Just le le let's have a look at this. We know then from the beginning here, from the very beginning, you know, that 1 over this one. I mean, the conjugate. Let me say the conjugate, right? The conjugate, right? The conjugate of 10 plus square root of, uh, I mean, let me write here. Someone is sending me a lot of messages, no, so making some noise here. I don't know who is it, who it is. So I'm going to reply later. So, well, this is where we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do something really, really cool. Just have a look at this. We can write 10 plus, I mean, minus, right? We can write 10 minus. Uh, we can write 10 minus square root of 99, right, as 1 over 10 plus square root of 99, because this is the conjugate, right? So then this one here we can write as 10 plus square root of 99 to the power of negative 1. Now let's look at this negative 1 here. And then we can say that this one here, we're just going to change this, these two signals here to 1. So this is 10 plus square root of 99. And we're going to put the plus or minus where? In the power. And that's it. So we have then that 10 plus square root of 99 to the power of x. This is going to be 10 plus or minus square. Sorry, my, my, my bad here. We're going to say then that this is then 10 um, plus square root of 99 to the power of plus or minus 2. And see the magic, guys. These bases are the same. So we got x equals plus or minus 2. So from here, x1 is equal to negative 2 and x2 is equal to 2. So these are the answers. So tell me in the comment what you think about this solution, guys. Okay, so see you next video. Thank you very much for watching. And these solutions are correct. I've checked them all. Please subscribe to the channel. See you next video. Bye bye.